Take your time. You see that penetration? Hey, God. Okay. Did you see that penetration? Yeah, Okay. He's down. Little, He's what? down. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Holy cow. How is that even possible? Yeah, he... Wow, freaking done. No I way. told you it's gonna work. No, it... Holy what what did I tell you? He just flopped over. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> we did it! Dad? I can't even believe it. I shot him at 40, and he ran 50, and he's down. I was like so worried I wasn't gonna get penetration. I told you. Me. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. But I did. I like took my time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, we did. I heard that one click. There was still lots of time. Yeah. I was just like, just, just run yeah. your shot. Yeah. 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 <gasps> well done, Paige. I was pretty Good shooting. About that one. No, but yeah, I'm I mean, worried. you got a beautiful giraffe. Well, freaking done. Holy cow. Well done. I can't believe he went down that. Yeah. Fast. No, it's insane. Not expecting that at all. Insane. So I just came out here this morning with um, African Bow Hunting Adventures and Donnie, and I decided I wanted to hunt a draft before I came. I made a special setup just for this. So I'm shooting my Bowtech SR350 at 62 pounds in performance mode with a 710 grain arrow. It's only shooting 215 feet per second. I just came out here, I had a 41 yard frontal shot on this giraffe and buried my arrow all the way to the fletchings. I think you can see it sticking out there in the front. He ran 50 yards and flopped over and I'm still in total disbelief. Um, this is my fifth trip to Africa. Since my first trip, I've always wanted to hunt a giraffe, but I just had no confidence in being able to build a setup that I thought was gonna get the job done. Donnie assured me that everything was gonna work well and he was absolutely right and I couldn't be happier. This is just a beautiful animal. What an amazing experience. And I'm just so thankful to be here doing this. We finally got Paige Giraffe back at, his, at the skinning shed. As you can see, it's a monster animal with a lot of meat. So the guys are going to take care of the skin so that she can take it back home. And then obviously, you know, like in Africa, like there's a lot of hungry mouths to feed. And uh, this, this giraffe will go a long way. My company is involved in, um, especially up north, in uh, donating meat to, to um, schools where less privileged children go. And... Uh, just to give you some stats, the one time we fed 170 kids for four weeks out of one hunt. So something like this goes a long way, and that's just one of the coolest things hunting Africa.